Alright guys, time to make this HTML stuff dynamic. So, I'm gonna put a for loop in here. I'm gonna use a for each loop. So I'm gonna get set for each sales record. Let's call it sales record. That is coming from sales records. Is that, is that confusing? Oops. Sales records. Uh, records okay so for each sales record call sales record that's coming from sales records what that mean that means that these sales records which is this guy over here is it so this sales records object is a collection okay so for each sales record object that is a sales record class as an instance of this class Okay, an instance of a sales record a sales record object called sales record that is coming from the sales records collection, this list. That's what it means. Okay. So for each of that, what are we gonna do? We are going to spit out a HTML row. So I'm gonna de indent this. Because it's Java code including you and then for the invoice number what we're gonna do is that we're gonna concatenate sales record dot uh, that should have been serial number so we get serial number so any serial number that is retrieved from a sales record object that's coming from this sales, re sales records list will be spit out here as the loop iterates through each sales record from these sales records. I'm sure everyone understands this because if you don't, knock yourself over. All right, so sales records, our sales record dot get invoice number and uh, that's for the invoice number because the first thing is serial number the next one should be invoice number the next should be description so the product description I'm gonna concatenate sales record dot get description for the next one, I'm gonna concatenate sales record that get um sales price. For the next one, I'm gonna concatenate sales record that get amount paid Oops. Right. okay for the next one I think that should be for the quantity so I'm gonna say sales record that get quantity and uh, for the next one this is supposed to be for the Discount. So I'm gonna say sales record dot get discount, and then finally I'm gonna say sales record dot get. I forgot. What was it? Yeah, customer name. All right. So let me confirm because I'm not careless. Serial number, serial number, invoice number, invoice number, description, description. Okay. Uh, sales price, sales price. Amount paid, amount paid. Quantity, quantity. Discount, discount. Customer name, customer name. That's good. I want you to note that whatever you choose. For the names of the table columns in HTML doesn't really matter. In here, you can choose to put spaces that is acceptable because it's HTML. Okay, 
So that's one thing I want you to know because I know so many people are, you know, thinking about questioning me on that. Okay. I really hope I haven't made any mistake in what I'm doing here and I really hope everyone understands what I'm doing here. Let me recap. I'm trying to dynamically spit out the sales records, the collection of sales records that are in these lists. Okay. Each sales record will be retrieved from each iteration of this loop into this sales record object, which is an instance of sales record. Okay. When we get this sales record object, we can now use it to get the serial number and split it out in between these TD tags. You can get the invoice number and split it out in between these TD tags and so on and so forth. But like I said, I'm not sure if I'm really correct or if I've made a terrible mistake in here because uh, I'm really feeling sleepy now. But anyways, um, one thing I need to do next before I forget is to close this print writer. So I'm going to say out.close and, uh, and I think that's good. So I will see you on the next tutorial.